Help Alex, half of the lights on my red light therapy panel aren't working. What should I do? I get this question so many times, whether it's an email like that one there, or a comment on one of my videos or blogs over at my website, alexfigures.com. Uh, it's probably one of the most common questions I get outside of, hey, which panel should I get or which product should I get? In this video, I'm gonna to explain to you why your panel is probably working fine and what you can do to check. Hey guys, Alex here from alexfigures.com and behind me I have two red light therapy panels and both of these panels are currently working. Well, not working at their full potential, uh, they're only down to about 50% capacity, but they are still putting out therapeutic red light. In fact, I can feel it and I can hear the fans wearing as well. So, you might be a bit confused. Alex, I thought red light therapy was red light and that is true. You were probably expecting to see something like this, right? That is what you think of, well, at least what I think of when I think of red light and red light therapy. Red light therapy is typically broken down into two wavelength groups. You have your red light, which is what we're seeing here, and that's typically around 660 nanometer wavelength of light. Though other companies are now coming out with variants of that, say a 610 or 630, but for now it doesn't really matter. The main thing is, 660 nanometer light is visible to the eye. It's also very therapeutic to the body, which you may or may, or may not already know about. The other type of light is known as near infrared light. This is typically coming in around 850 nanometers. However, we're also seeing 810s and 830s and even up to 900 nanometer light. Now what's interesting is this near infrared light is invisible to our human eye. Right now, this panel here is emitting near infrared light only. I've disabled the red light. So what that means is there's actually a lot of energy coming from this panel. I can pick it up with my spectrometer. And as you can see, there is a big peak there at 850 or thereabouts nanometer light. That's the near infrared light. So this device proves that yes, this panel is working and is putting out red light therapy that we all think of and we want to utilize when using panels such as this. Now, when I turn this panel back on, I've enabled this to be both red light and near infrared light. So let me show you. Now I've got the reading on here. I'll have to turn this off real quick. There we go. See the reading here, we can see red light in this peak and near infrared light in that peak. So what that means is this panel here is currently putting out both red and near infrared light. This panel over here is only doing near infrared light. How does this answer the question of whether my panel is working or not? What of, often happens when someone turns on a panel for the first time, let's take the Biomax 600 from Platinum LED that I have here, they expect all of the LEDs to work. Why would you not? But as you may be able to see from this video, some of the LEDs appear not to be working. In this instance, it's this line of LEDs all the way through here. If you're looking at it closely, you'll see that these ones are glowing red, or, or variants of reds, because this is a multi-wave multi uh, panel, so there is some um, yellower hues in here. But these lines down here seem to be disabled or broken. And trust me, I actually had this thought many, many years ago when I first came into red light therapy. So if we take, say, this LED here, we turn it on, and we see that it's not really glowing. That's because that particular LED is emitting near infrared light, the 850 nanometer light, which is invisible to our eye. So we can't see it, but my spectrometer can see it, and you can actually feel it. Chances are, if that's happening for you, good news. It's not a design fault, it's not a, a, a dodgy panel or anything like that. It's actually how it's meant to be working. I'm just gonna interrupt this video really quick. Do you know what is quite damaging to eye health today? Screens. All the artificial light, in particular the blue light, can do a lot of damage to eye health. And we're seeing the effects more and more in young people today. Now, there's a few things you can do to mitigate the damages of red light therapy and screen time. One of the things that I do on a daily basis is take the Performance Lab Vision Supplement. Now this supplement is an extremely high quality supplement. It includes ingredients such as blackcurrant, bilberry, uh, lutein, saffron and astaxanthin amongst others 
Now, Performance Lab Vision is formulated by a company in the UK who take supplementation very, very seriously. I'm quite picky when it comes to finding the best product, especially if it's a product that I'm going to ingest. It's formulated to help reduce the vision impairing effects of glare, and it also fights the macular damaging effects of blue light, which is the main light, I guess, that we're, ex we're exposed to when using screens or under artificial lights. I'll put a link below to Performance Lab Vision if you want to learn more about it. Otherwise, let's continue with this video. Okay, so now we're going to come over to the Mito Red Mito Pro 1500. Both of these panels are exceptional panels, by the way. Now, I'm going to come in on, a, on an angle here, so hopefully you can see this. So as you can see, there's a lot of LEDs in here. I believe there's about 300. I'm going to enable both red light and near infrared light. Okay, cool. So along this line, you can see the red light. Along this one, red lights. Underneath that, there's some LEDs in there that appear not to be glowing. Effectively, it looks like every second line is working. But remember, these lines are emitting visible red light. These lines are emitting near infrared invisible light. Now, I've got one last tip to show you before you all run away, just to make sure that the panel is working the way it should be working. Most panels today offer the ability to choose between near infrared light or red light or both. Uh, it's a, well, it's a feature that's been around for a couple years now, and I believe every panel on the market has that option. Some panels have a physical switch. I have an old school miter red panel here, and they have a switch at the top, one switch for the red lights, one switch for the near infrared lights. If your panel has switches like that, make sure that both of them are on. With switches like this, they'll glow when the powers go into it. So you, for instance, could have the red light on, but the near infrared off, and you wouldn't actually know, other than looking at the switch, whether, they're all, uh, <coughs> whether the near infrared light is, is, is being emitted or not. So if that's your setup, make sure that both of them are on. If you have a newer panel, such as this Mito Red panel, if you come over here, you'll see where <coughs> there is a mode button. Now, and also down the bottom, you have an infrared LED that lights up when the infrared light's going. So if I hit mode here, we see what I thought was an A, but it's actually an R. That means the red light is enabled. If I hit mode again, I see what looks like a one, but is it actually an I for infrared? I want both of them to be running. I hit OK, and you see that, yes, the red light's going, the infrared light is going, though we can't see it, but we can verify it by this infrared light glowing. So if you have a mitre red, this is how you can check it. If you only want red light, just enable the R, hit OK, away you go. That's not going. If you only want near infrared, leave the eye on, away you go. You can't see it, but the infrared light is on. You may also have a platinum LED Biomax. Now this is the second gen, gen Biomax, which is a really nice panel with a great touchscreen control system. As we come in here, what you can do on this model is you can click custom mode and you can actually select how much light you want going to each wavelength. So I might want full red light, but no infrared light. So if you're worried that your near infrared light LEDs aren't working, you need to go into this custom mode screen and make sure that your near infrared is set to 100%. Visually, nothing changes out here, but behind the scenes, a lot is changing. Once that's done, hit OK. And that will lock in 100% for both. I hope that saves you a little bit of stress and a little bit of worry thinking, how am I gonna return this panel to the, to the company and am I gonna pay a fee and all that jazz. Chances are, if you're wondering why some of my LEDs not glowing, chances are, they're working fine, you just can't see it because of the reasons I've explained. Now, if you see something unusual, say, I don't know, the top three lines aren't working, red or near infrared, but the rest are, then yeah, that, that's not good. Or let's say some of the LEDs are flicker, flickering or half of the LEDs aren't working. I don't know of any panel on the market that has the ability to select which, way, uh, which LEDs run or not. So chances are if you see that, yeah, you've probably got, a, probably got an issue. And that's something that I should talk about. I've tested a lot of red light therapy panels over the years, like lots of them, and I've used them for a long time as well. I've only seen issues with maybe two of them, and these were five or six years ago, like many years ago, early on in the, in the, in the uh, industry. 
all of the all the ones that had issues bar one had issues out of the box like you turn them on and something had gone wrong uh with you know like there was a shipping damage like a crush uh or some wiring you know that just didn't work the power wasn't working or you turned it on and they were pulsing and flickering and sparking and remember this is many years ago only one panel i've had um developed an issue over time and it wasn't necessarily an issue with an led it was a whole block of leds and that meant that the drivers behind or internal drivers were causing issues. So chances are your panel is gonna be working perfectly fine. I hope this video has helped you uh, if you do have that issue of, hey, why are some of my LEDs not working? I hope this has helped. If it hasn't, leave a comment below or reach out to the company that you purchased the panel from and I'm sure they'll be able to uh, do their best to answer you. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up or a like. Be sure to subscribe as I'll be doing a lot more videos like this. And um, yeah, leave any questions or comments below. All right, guys, I'll see you later.